Good afternoon and welcome to Random Acts of Poetry. So, you sit down and you look at a piece of poetry, a piece of work, a piece of art, whatever you want to choose to call that, and you begin to rework it and turn it into something new or, 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 or different to how it originally came out. Because quite often this, this thing that you've created will either be wrapped up in your whimsies Kind of that's what poets are, we're whimsical. We look at things and we wonder why are the, the leaves orange? What is it that makes one green leaf cling on to the end? And we'll write a poem about that. But it also is not just the whimsical. It's about clear and present thought. And I've always been trying to find that balance between the length of the piece, not wanting to go on for too long. And it made me chuckle because a friend of mine who read my last poem, he, he commented how he thought the introduction was, it was funny that the introduction was longer than the poem itself. I worry about having to explain the poem. <laughs> you shouldn't really have to explain it. And this particular piece is an exercise of praising removing the unessential things from the verse removing the unessential things from our lives because the thing about this that this poem is all the identity things and if i remember rightly yeah there's only one reference to you every other idea of identity is removed from it there's no he, there's no she. And this is it's quite important because then it must exist in its own right, in its own format with no identity other than just the language and the words. And I'm just kind of scanning over it again, looking at it. As I'm reading, because I, I do, I, this is my second take. Uh, and I stumbled reading it, so I've got to take my time. As excited as the poem becomes and it pulls away. So I'm just preparing myself. Have I got one too many of these? As each put each other. So that all there was. Right, I'm ready. And it's going to be a shorter introduction. That's enough wittering. Tears and tears. Love shines bright through the dark. This plight tears you apart, never able to embrace the night. A sliver of the other side creates the knife from this shard of life in which we delight, playing out dramas to a beat not quite right. A feeling of disjointedness requires deep, profound silence. A measure of balance, preparation for acquiescence, sweet surrender, the sacrifice of control. As each cut reaches the bone and the blood of years, salted with tears, sorrows never cried, emotions held inside. The truth that's denied, denial is acceptance, submission, the admission that keeps this alive.